The Natural History and Clinical Landscape of Limb Girdle Muscular Dystrophy, or LGMD, has evolved since its first clinical description in 1954. Since then, 34 different subtypes of LGMD have been identified. The phenotype they share is a limb girdle distribution of weakness. Beyond that, LGMD subtypes have heterogeneous presentations with varying degrees of severity and age of onset for respiratory compromise, cardiomyopathy, cardiac arrhythmias, muscular atrophy, and orthopedic contractures or deformities. These clinical features are caused by mutations in genes that encode for different muscle proteins, located primarily in the sarcoglycan dystroglycan complex. Gene transfer therapy is currently being investigated for patients with LGMD. However, knowledge of the natural history for each subtype is essential to understanding the impact of gene therapy. Natural history studies are necessary for developing diagnostic and care standards and defining disease-specific outcome measures. The primary outcome measures shown here reflect the natural progression of a subtype so that the efficacy of interventional studies can be quantified and qualified. Some natural history studies also aim to identify muscle biomarkers. For example, a 24-month observational study of patients with LGMD2A, also known as LGMD-R1, seeks to verify the average North Star Ambulatory Assessment Score for dysferlinopathy as a clinical outcome measure. Additionally, it aims to validate muscle fat fraction as assessed by quantitative MRI of the upper and lower leg muscles as a biomarker for this subtype. As of August 2023, there are at least 27 different natural history studies for LGMD. The ongoing natural history studies for the sarcoglycanopathies, which are caused by mutations that affect the transmembrane, including gamma, alpha, and beta glycoproteins, are actively recruiting. Their results will inform upcoming interventional clinical trials for sarcoglycanopathies that are investigating novel gene transfer therapies. One gene transfer therapy clinical trial is examining the safety and efficacy of SRP9003, which targets LGMD2E or R4. This trial is currently enrolling by invitation. The clinical trial for the safety of SRP9004, which targets LGMD2D or R3, was completed in 2022. Final outcomes from this clinical trial are still pending. Gene transfer therapy drugs GNT007 and SRP9005 are currently in preclinical development for LGMD2C or R5. SRP6004 is a gene transfer therapy drug for dysferlin and is being evaluated for LGMD2B or R2. This trial is currently enrolling by invitation. A proof-of-concept study with a systemic infusion of a dual vector to accommodate the large dysferlin transgene is currently underway. An ongoing interventional study is examining GNT006 gene therapy for LGMD2I or R9 patients. LION101 is another gene transfer therapy for LGMD2I or R9 and is also currently recruiting. Diagnosing the correct genetic subtype coupled with an understanding of its natural history will support the diagnosis, monitoring, management, care, and hopefully new genetic therapies.